Hello and welcome to XRM1 Business Solutions. XRM1 is a globally active software manufacturer for business solutions based on the Microsoft Dynamics platform. We are offering solutions for project, HR, and idea management, as well as time tracking. Welcome to today's training session of how to create a project. This video is regarding CRM project, the project management software in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. If we want to create a project in CRM project, it might be interesting to know that there's different ways to start a new project. We can create a project from scratch. We can create projects by importing them from Microsoft project. We can create projects from templates and we can create projects from orders. Our focus today is to create new projects from scratch. You all know, or know if you work with projects, we have a main project and a structure with faces, subprojects or work packages. What we will do is we will start with the main node and then create the structure. So I'm going to go into my dynamic CRM system where XRM1 is already imported and configured. If you want to know how to import and configure this solution, please see our webcast in of how to get started. I'm in my CRM system and if I now want to navigate to the project management module, I go into the Microsoft Dynamic CRM button and then navigate to project. I can already see the, the projects in the system. If you don't see them, please once again click on project and then projects and you will be on the same page as I am. When we now want to create a new project, please click on new on the left upper corner. I have clicked new and you see that a new and empty project form has opened. Within the project form, or I also call it project charter, I can put in all information necessary for my project. Up the tab for general information, internal and external. We have a tab for work and duration. We have a tab for budget and costs. We have a tab for sales and revenue and note and activities as well as settings. When I want to create the project, there's three or the least minimum three fields I need to fill in order to be able to save the project. The first field is title internal. It is the name of the project and the name I can find the project in my system. I will create a project my project is going to be called BLI Project Management Implementation. So I will put it in. Every project needs an owner. The owner is th at the same time the project manager responsible for the project. Per default is always set to the user that is logged into the system. My user is Paul Morrison. So I am the project manager. This is fine. I can also switch that, but I will leave it as is. And the third and last required field for the project is the customer. I select who this project is for. A project can be internal and can also be external. Depending on what it is, you select the account um, from your sales module. So if it's an internal, I would select Honak because this is my company. But in our case, we want to create an external project, so I will select Baker Limited as the customer of the project. I have put in all information, title, owner, customer, and going to save that, the project will be created. You see that there is a lot more information you can put into your system. This form is almost fully customizable, so you can, as you are aware of all other CRM modules, modify the fields or the form on your own. You can hide fields, you can add fields, or relabel them. I want to add just one more thing, which is important for a project in most cases too, because a 
project has a start and an end date, I will put in the start date as today and I want this project to be finished by the end of July. So I say end projected July the 31st. Save that and my project chart is done so I can go into my project structure. We have now created the main project and want to create the project structure underneath. I go back into my system. I am in my project and to create the structure I, I'm going to use the work breakdown structure within CRM project. To go to, to navigate to the work breakdown structure I go to the array next to my project name and navigate to work breakdown structure. You see the work breakdown structure in Silverlight. It's all information you have on the project charter as well. So you see the title, start, projected, end projected and so forth. To now create the further structure like faces, subnotes and so on, all I do is right click on the note and context menu will open and you can add subnotes. So for example you can add a face. I'm gonna add the face Conception Click out of it and it is created. If I now want to create like a sub project underneath, what I do is right click on this node, say it's sub node, and the sub node is created below. If I want to create a project node on the same level, I have two possibilities to do that. The first option is go on the, again like the same, go on the parent node, conception, right click, add sub node and sub project. Or I click within the project node and say add node and it will be created on the same level. What do I do if I figure out that the project no the project node that I created is on the say on the wrong level? I can do drag and drop within my work breakdown structure. What I do is I grab the project node, you mouse over the checkbox and the number of the line, you see this icon coming up. You can grab the node, you see I have that, and move that to the node you want to have it below. So I say a trust organization, for example, should go underneath workshop processes. I take it, grab it there, leave it, and it will go underneath. I will move it back. So the project structure is created. I can now adjust the times, or if I figure out something's wrong, I can always modify that by just clicking into the lines. I can adjust the times by either start and end date. I go in and say, for example, this is from June the 1st to June the 15th. Or if I like visualization more, can do that within a Gantt. To open up the Gantt, you take your mouse, grab on the right hand, take it and move it into the middle. You see it graphically and you can also adjust it from here. Take your mouse, you can either move, increase the size of the node, or you can take it and move it wherever it needs to go. So I can just also take that here, increase the size, move it. You will pretty soon figure out that a, this is a child node and the above are the parent nodes. A child node, node cannot be outside its parent. So for example, the workshop process is part of the conception, so it cannot be after the conception because it's part of it. So I cannot move it on the outside. It can only be inside. If I need to extend it, I need to increase the size here as well. So if you don't want, if you don't want to do everything manually, hit automatic and the system will think for you. So if I now increase that or move that to the very right, everything will move to that. I also have the possibility to set up relationships. To set up relationships, 
this is again two possibilities. The first possibility is to set predecessors. I can, for example, say the documentation can only be done after the adjusting of the organization. So what I will do is I say organization is the predecessor of documentation. I double click into predecessor. You see um, the nodes I can connect to. I say I want to connect to row three, select that, take out and the relationship is done. This is the first possibility. The second possibility is to do it within the graphical Gantt. What you need to do is take the mouse in the middle of the bar, grab it and move your mouse down. I always recommend to do it in the middle and move it down. If you take it and move it on the right, it'll move then. So take it, move it down, you see this black line and then move it to the project node you want to connect to. I want to connect to the processes, leave that and the relationship window will open. Here you have the additional possibility to select the relationship types, set up a time lag. But if you say OK, the relationship is done also. When the project structure is done, the times are settled, we also have the possibility to plan work on our project. I have prepared my my PowerPoint project. I have planned some work on my notes. I said, okay, the subnote takes eight days, the other one one day, or the project itself, like work that's not on the subnotes, would take, the, like the project management would take two days. I have this work budgeted for my project and need to put that in. But I also want to see not only what are the times on the project itself, I want to also see what is the plan for the, the work for the whole phase or for the whole project. Within CRM project you have work inheritation. What does it mean? Within a project, I go back to my system, we always have three columns. You might have recognized them already. We have mandates projected on the level, we have mandates projected inherited, and we have also mandates projected. What are these fields? Um, I go back. Inherited is always what comes underneath the project itself. So we are in this node, we don't have anything in underneath, so it's zero. We have the project mandates projected on the level, and here it's eight means the sum, the inherited plus level is 8. If I look into the face, I want to see what is the whole face mean. We have 12 mandates inherited from the nodes below, nothing on it, 12 mandates of the face. Same logic as the project, 21 inherited, 2 on the level, 23 mandates. Does this project means in total? How can I set this up in this system? Again, you can only put in the information on the level itself. So I go in and enter these times on the level. So organization is three, documentation is eight, and workshop is one. The project management itself, it's two. Most cases it's about 20% of the time that you have in some. Now, the inheritation gets calculated by the system. It does that automatically. All you need to do is recalculate or refresh the screen and we will see that the inherited and protected is filled. We have the, for the main node, 12 mandates inherited. It comes from the conception organization documentation processes, 12 on the level itself. So this project will take 14 days. You can also see these numbers on the project itself. On the project charter, I will refresh, reload the project so you see that. I when I scroll down, you see the work and the duration. The work is two days, inherited 12 and 14. Or if I want, don't want to see that for this project, I only want to see it, for example, for the bond phase that I created, like for this conception phase. I can open up this conception. You do this by clicking into the number in front of the line.
and if you scroll down here you will see also these 12 mandates. When we talk about mandates please note that the mandates can be different from the duration that's because it depends on the people you have available if you have a duration of like one week five days it can might be that you have for example two people working full-time then you would have 10 mandates protected if you have only somebody working half time it would be two and a half days now the project is created we have the main project created we have the phases, the sub-projects, we have planned work to it. We can now see that project in our project list. I go back to my project list, go, go back to Dynamic CRM projects, go to the project list, and then you see the BLI project management implementation. I open this up and you see the project in the system. For more information regarding our products, services, customer experience, and support you are invited to visit our website xrm1.com.